Hello YouTube, this is Marauders here. So in the latest Windows Insider update and in the many demos that Microsoft has shown, there's a new program called Paint 3D. Now this is interesting because other than being normal paint, where you can just uh, paint your stuff, you can also switch over to 3D mode and draw some stuff in 3D. So let's do this. So I can draw a little square. And then I can draw two nubs. Now this is a... Uh, I'm using my Atom to do this. Uh, so performance isn't is and is also bit alpha so performance is less than uh, pleasing and so after you these are actual 3d objects so we can see that we can actually move them in and out they actually have depth to them and we can actually look at them from a different angle so the obvious question so this is really cool because once you have a 3d object you can also switch over back to the paint brushes and i'm going you can like start coloring it and this is awesome because once you color it you can see Okay, so it's a pretty neat thing to do. Now, the moment I saw this, like a lot of people, I immediately thought of one thing, which is now that I can make a 3D object, I would like to print it on my 3D printer. And uh, a lot of people think that uh, because Paint 3D doesn't support exporting to the STL format, that is not possible, but actually, Microsoft has actually provided all the tools for you to actually print this as a 3D object on your own 3D printer. So I'm going to open one of my... one of the files which I just created. So here we have something that I created previously. It's basically a little... I, I tried to make a fish. Uh, like I said, the performance on the machine I installed the insider build on is uh, less than uh, it's not something that you should be using doing high high end 3d on but basically I have a fish sort of a fish okay so how do we do print this give send this to our 3d printer so what we do is we go to save and we do a save as And if we look at the files, there's no STL here, that which is why a lot of people think because of that you can't print in 3D. You can't use your 3D printer on it, there's no file format. But what you do is, you just select 3MF. And you save it out as 3MF. And then we will go to where we saved it. And double click on the file and this will open in 3D Builder which is, you can call this Microsoft's own slicer program. And obviously I'd say that the things are validly defined so we're going to click to repair. And it will repair the model for us and voila that's it. This is now in the physical space and we already know like how big it is. You can see this is 50 millimeters. So you can do whatever you can. You, this is basically a simple, very simplified slider slicer. So we can resize it. And well, since we want to make it easy to print, I can actually go and 
uh, we're gonna drop it to the we're gonna drop it down so there are actually multiple objects in here if you, if you notice and it's I wish I had a proper mouse here so I'm gonna just angle it a bit and then I'm gonna use a settle command to just drop it onto the floor Ah. <laughs> okay obviously I didn't rotate it enough so let's just minus uh, 70 and then gonna settle it so now it's flat on the ground okay that looks good and then we go out here and we say save as and in builder we can save it as STL okay now you'll tell us that if we save in this format we lose everything that's because STL is a very old format it doesn't save stuff like textures and objects and uh, it doesn't save a lot of information it probably saves more than I I think but uh, basically it's very old and uh, well it doesn't have everything but it's okay now that I've exported out the STL I can actually go back and if we reopen this STL in builder again well so it's basically a merged 3d object and after that you can just use this STL file in your 3D printer software and uh, all your 3D just directly copy it into your 3D printer and you can print it. And so here here it is. This is what I printed just now. I already printed it. And if we look at the picture. Here we go. Um So yeah, he has a weird disjointed eye, but uh, that's that's basically it. That's the same thing. Same thing as the actual model. Okay, neat. So okay, with Paint 3D. While it doesn't have a direct export to STL command, Windows 10 does have everything, all the, all the software included for you to actually do, actually export it out as a STL and print it on any 3D printer that supports STL, which is everything. This is really neat how easy it was to just create this and, and, and then draw this and then print it out while it's probably not it's definitely not any software in the in the same leagues as fusion 360 or blender but for people who are not familiar with 3d yeah it's a very very easy way to make something and then be able to get it out to be printable that that's always been something that uh that i mean that's a that's one of the dreams but of course if you it's uh, designing a 3D object that's actually printable is a whole different school of thought. Okay, but uh, I'm looking forward to what happens in the future. Uh, this 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 is really exciting. Okay, so this is Marauders. I will see you all in the next video.